Hello, this video will provide an introduction to the Communication and Mass Media Complete Database. Start at the Luria Library homepage, sbcc.edu slash library. Go to the Luria Library Plus menu at the upper left of your screen and choose A to Z list of databases. This is a complete list of all of the Luria Library databases. You can find communication and mass media complete alphabetically or under the popular databases. From off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your pipeline username and password. From on campus, you will go directly to the database. Type keywords about your topic into the search box and click search. If your results are not what you need, you may have to experiment with different search terms. A librarian can help you come up with the best keywords for your topic. You can use the options on the left side of the screen to narrow your results in several ways. For most topics, it's a good idea to limit your results to sources published in the last five to 10 years. Limiting to peer-reviewed journals will narrow your results to articles from academic journals that were written by experts and reviewed by other experts before being published. Your results may include articles from communication journals and from journals in other related disciplines such as sociology, business, or psychology. To limit your results to articles from communication journals, scroll down to the publication area of the limits on the left of your screen, select that option, select show more, and if you like, arrange the list alphabetically. Choose the journals that you want articles from and select update. Your new results list will include only recent articles from the specific peer-reviewed journals you selected. Your results list includes some information about each article, including the title, the authors, the journal in which the article appeared, the publication date, and some subject headings. Subject terms describe what the article is about, they can also give you ideas of different words to use in your search. To get more information about an article, click on the title. This will bring you to the full record for the article, which includes all of the subject headings, as well as an abstract and summary of the article, and a link to the full text of the article on the left side of the screen. The tools on the right side of the screen allow you to save, print, or email the article. There is also a tool to generate a citation for it. For communication classes, you will use APA citation style. The automatically generated citation is a great place to start, but you should always check it against citation guidelines from your professor or from the library to make sure everything is formatted correctly. Use the permalink tool to get a link that will take you back to this page with the full record for the article. Do not just leave the page open on your computer or copy the URL from the address bar because this URL won't work once you've been logged out of the database. You can add articles to a folder within the database to keep track of them as you continue to search. To access those articles, choose the folder from the top menu on the page. The articles saved in the folder will disappear when you leave the database, unless you choose sign in at the top of the screen and create a free account. Once you're signed into the database itself, not just signed into pipeline to access the database, the articles you add to your folder will stay there for the next time you sign in. When you're done looking at an article's record, choose results list above the article title to go back to your search results and choose another article. If you get stuck or have questions, ask a librarian for help. During the library's open hours, you can chat with the librarian directly from your results list. You can also contact a librarian by emailing library at sbcc.edu or by calling 805-730-4444. We're always happy to help.